So, it's been one week. Let's talk about it. Guys, a week ago, I picked up the Ray-Bans Meta Glasses. And to be honest, in this week time, and I'm actually about to get the transitional lenses, I'll have a video on that very shortly on the next couple of days, but I did go ahead and pick up the Ray-Bans Meta Glasses, and as I have my channel, I have two. I did picked up two different variants, the regular and the large. Again, <clears throat> regular, not my cup of tea for a guy with a big head, just simply does not work out for me. But for the large variant, it actually works out very well, and I really do like it. Now, I will start off with my only complaint, and really, it is only my only complaint. Because unlike my complaints with AR glasses where they get too warm, you don't really have that problem at all when it comes to the meta uh, glasses. And not only that, they're almost to a point where I would say they are perfect. Quote the term, almost perfect. So I went for a uh, walk the other day, right? And you're going to see on the screen some videos and images from that walk. I went on a walk, and it wasn't a long walk, probably 30, 40 minutes, right? But I wanted to record the whole entire time because I wanted to see, you know, hey, like, how long can these this battery actually last? And let's say you're at a sporting event or you're at something that's you know, actually really important to you, and you're trying to use what the glasses in sense are made for, right? To be able to capture moments in your life. Well, after that 30 minute walk, one thing I realized was my glasses were absolutely dead. Now, when they say four hours of battery, that does include not you. You can't be capturing f videos and photos every single second. That's like four hours of battery if you listen to music and a lot of light use. That's what I've realized a lot when it comes to the MetaQuest glasses. Um, I don't know why I keep saying the um, the Quest meta glasses is that the battery life isn't bad but it is going to be determined based on the fact of you know what you're doing and your use case with them which in all honesty that's most of the time when it comes to batteries but if you are taking videos and pictures which is probably what you want to do with these glasses you're going to realize very quickly that your battery is going to be drained i mean after 30 minutes they're dead and you're not going to be able to capture anything else. Now, I will give um, Ray-Bans and Meta a lot of credit here because what you can do is just put them back in your charging case. So pretty much your case that you get with your glasses, where you charge your glasses, it's pretty much like a battery bank. You plug it in, you charge your glasses, and you don't really have to plug into the wall. So, for example, when I was out on the walk, after 30 minutes, my glasses are dead. I put them in the charging case, charge them up, and within, I would say, roughly 20 minutes, I'm 100% back, ready to go, do it again, take videos, photos, whatever. There is that period of time, though, where, for example, I do wear glasses, so I need to have the glasses, like, on my face, so charging is kind of inconvenient because then I end up, you know, not being able to see, but for what it is... You know, early technology, it gets the job done. And it does a really good job of that. Um, it takes beautiful photos, beautiful videos, and I haven't had any other problems. When it comes to listening to music, if you're in a car, on a bus, or in a very close area with somebody, you will be able to hear the music or audio. Um, it's not really like that with the AR glasses, the Vitchers, the Rode Kids, the... Um, well, I can't think of the last one. I don't know why I can't think of the uh, last one there. But, oh, X-Reels, excuse me. The X-Reels as well is you will hear the music if you're in a car with somebody. Now, if you're out and walking around, it's almost impossible to hear the music. Even in the same room to a certain degree, you won't hear the same music. Uh, you won't hear the music from the glasses. But if you're in a car with someone, just a little key tip or you're on the bus with somebody and you're blasting your music into your meta glasses, you're going to, they're going to hear your, your music. So just a little, you know, 
FYI there. It's not perfect, but it's as close to perfect as possible. Again, the best I have ever heard slash used has been the AR glasses, and those are absolutely next level when it comes to being able to actually have them with speakers built in and not having anyone be able to hear the stuff around you, which again, like I said, I've been cars, buses with those and nobody can hear the stuff around me. So it's after a week, you know, sometimes when it comes to products like this, it really, I always say it's, it comes down to the gimmick and usually after a week, the gimmick kind of goes away. I can't say the gimmick in any way is going away because I don't think it's a gimmick. All right, here's what I'll say about these glasses. They are really good, but it's really a use case scenario. What, you, what are you using them for? What are What is your, like, what is your use case? That's what I'm trying to say. And for me, what I wanted was glasses that I could kind of replace my AirPods with and not have to wear AirPods when I walk around in headphones. And for the most part, again, unless you're on a crowded bus or you're on like a car ride, just going by yourself driving around, perfect. Just walking around, perfect. And you know, occasionally you can go ahead and hit that capture button and record or take a picture if you're out somewhere and you just wanna, you know, have like, you know, a memory or maybe you see something crazy, you wanna take a picture of it. It's perfect for those case scenarios. But for the idea of, well, you're gonna take these out and you're really gonna like go to sporting events, you know, stuff like that, or do A, B, C, D, where it's a little bit more intensive of what you're doing using the glasses case, you're probably gonna be very disappointed with it. I will feel like in that case, it's more of a casual type of, you know, take a picture here and there when things are going or things are happening rather than like trying to replace an actual uh, camera. You're not gonna be able to replace your everyday camera, whether that's a DSLR, you know, whatever. You're not gonna be able to replace it. You're gonna get really good shots, but again, it's not gonna be as much as you think it's going to be. Also, the video can only do two minutes at a time. It's really not that big of a deal, but after two minutes, it will tell you like, doop, doop, and then you have to go ahead and start recording again. Capturing as well, um, taking pictures, that's not video, so you can take as many as you want. The shutter speed on pictures isn't bad. Um, it's not perfect, but the shutter like speed-wise, it's okay. Um, other than that though, again, like I said, it's a really good pair of glasses. There's not really any problems. Again, I'm gonna, I just picked up the transitions and that's the thing that a lot of people have complained about. And you already know on this channel, if people complain about something, I have to pick it up and I have to try it out because I wanna get my thoughts and opinions. But again, that would be a step of video above itself. And I'll tell you guys, cause that, there's a lot of people saying, even videos right now saying, the transitions are awful, and if you get them, you're gonna hate the glasses. We'll find out, because I've tried out every pair now at this point. But again, like I said, for the most part, I give, I could recommend these to the average person. Just, I want, you have to keep in mind what you're getting going into it. And as long as you keep that in mind and you know, like, okay, this, this is the limitations, these are what's great about these, these are what's bad about these, as long as you understand that, it's not really a problem at all. Like if you're going to a thing for your kids, let's say you're going to like a, a soccer tournament or something where it's like a graduation, just bring your phone. Bring your phone and the glasses. Yes, the glasses are gonna be a nice little, you know, extra. And I think that's really what they are actually. You know what, that's a great example. And I just thought about it. They aren't the main course. They are a nice addition. They are a nice add-on, right? They're a nice little accessory to whatever you're gonna be using. So if you go to a, a sporting event, you have a camera, you have a phone, whatever. These are nice additions to get kind of extra pictures, extra videos. These aren't something that you wanna utilize as your main course, your main you know item to use. So that's kind of my cup of tea after one week of using them. Again, I still love them, but it's definitely one of the situations where you just gotta know what you're getting into. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys next one.